seaweed production continues to be the main industry in the province of Tawi Tawi, with around 70% of its residents engaged in seaweed farming for their income. In 2021, the Bangsamara Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, or BARM, produced 46.5% of the Philippines' total seaweed yield, with the province of Tawi Tawi contributing 57% of region's production valued at 931 million pesos. However, in recent years, changes in farm practices and environmental factors have greatly affected seaweed production. So, nakita natin yung mga maraming challenges with seaweed farming. Especially ngayon, no, for the past siguro 10 years or so, itong rampant use of fertilizers. So, ang fertilizers na ito ay actually intended for farming, agriculture, sa lupa. Pero nagkaroon ng initiative, ewan ko kung paano na-invento ng mga farmers, ginamit nila ito sa, sa seaweed farming. And unfortunately, ever since gumamit sila ng fertilizers, marami nang medyo maging, naging uh, negative impacts na experiences nila with the, with the use of seaweed farming. No, minsan lang ang pagtanim. Pagkuha mo ng seaweeds, pagdala mo dito, pagkuha mo, pwede mo rin itanim sa ano. Pero ngayon, kailangan pagkuha mo, pagyan mo ng fertilizer, tapos takpan na ang toda, tapos kinabukasan, saka pa maano, matanong. Maraming oras na sa saya. Kaya karamihan na yung gusto nila. Kung pwede ibalik yung dati, kaya mas maganda. Kaya humingi kami ng tulong kaya na yung kumali sa emisyo kung paano kayo matulungan yung ma- maalis yung pagpunta, maalis yung fertilizer kung okay. may balik yung dati. For this reason, PRDP Mindanao's iPlan component partnered with MSU Tawi Tawi and Mafar Barm to produce disease-resistant and high-yielding seaweed planting material in an effort to boost the productivity of seaweed farmers in the region and reduce, if not eliminate, their dependence on the use of fertilizers. The joint project the mass production of laboratory-generated seaweed seed stocks and the establishment of seaweed nursery to support sustainable seaweed industry in Tawi-Tawi, which started in September 2018, is now in Phase 2 of its implementation after promising results in Phase 1. So itong Phase 2, so marami pa tayong naiwan na, na mga cultivars from Phase 1, although kahit medyo naging matagal yung in transition, no? pero since we have a uh, lab naman uh, na minimaintain ni Professor Karen Serag, so na-maintain natin yung ibang mga cultivars na yun. From the lab, nag-propagate kami and then after three months to four months the lab, then we outplant it in the land-based nursery. Then for three months again, we outplant them in the sea-based nursery. Nung nilipat na namin sila or in-outplant sa land-based nursery, Meron silang daily growth rate of about 4%. Same with sa sea-based nursery, meron din 4 to 5%. Based on the studies, ang um, daily growth rate lang ng mga uh, seedlings from based on the cuttings of the farmers, nasa 1.5% ng 2.5%. So if we have 4% daily growth rate, so there would be an increase also in production compared sa conventional method nila. So ito, kung halimbawa uh, maging successful, and I'm sure kasi we have scientific basis, we have a basis from uh, farmers' testimonies, magiging successful ito. Uh, inshallah, no, inshallah, maging successful. At magiging best practices siya na pwedeng magamit sa iba. Through the partnership of MSU Tawi Tawi, Mafar Barm and PRDP Mindanao, seaweed farmers can look forward to a better future for their farms and ensure the protection and conservation of their ocean heritage in the years to come.